and go for something like a Yone. No real magic damage, though, in this composition. It's a very awkward spot he's put in. Yeah, he needs to do a lot of magic damage. Let's see what it's going to be. Twisted Fate! All right, so this is the, the classic anti-Akali. Of course, Akali in the 1v1 is going to be able to kill you, but you can bring your friends. You can press Destiny, and it makes it very difficult for Akali to play uh, in these team fights. And BD, so far, I think 2-0 and zero on the tier this season. Yeah, he has... Uh a red card at Chobius. There's a flash. All right, Lahan's wanting to win this at level one. That's dangerous, as they are going to be able to walk it back. Doesn't even have Eclipse yet. He's already a bit stronger right now. Lahan's going to go for that roam up, as Peanut's going to come on over. Let's see who's going to be able to win the smite fight, as it looks like Cuz wants to fight Peanut instead of the red buff. And now, BDD going to move in. That's the standard meta, but it's certainly the way Lahan's wants to play the game here with aiming. And they have a ton of control on the map right now. BDD. Yeah, there's the gold card, but the black Any team shake the meta up like this, besides T1, obviously, but they made the meta. So Lance is just walking at this. All right, well, uh, he's going to press his uh, Eclipse button, and then he's dead. That is first blood uh, going over to Gen G, and I'm not entirely sure what the plan was. And if you get the kill there because, you know, Flash is down, you feel amazing, but that was bizarre, because if they hit you with a grenade and the trap goes down, you are done. Yeah, well, KT going to walk over a ward. Um... Peanut in position. BDD gets on over here as the gold card's going to come in. Keen is uh, fighting all of them. Slices, dices, let's see. Just trying and to hold this way for BDD. He does not have teleport. Has to walk back. Yep. Now I'm just going to press some buttons here. That was well played by Chovy, or by Lens, actually. Chovy taking a little bit of damage. And materializer, now. because of those summoners being down, the threat of Cuz coming over here. As we'll watch Lehens do this one more time. Traps blocking him, and he gets grenaded. Another trap is replaced. And I guess he just thought, okay, I could force my way through these traps. We do see quite often as, all right, we're getting flashes all over the place. That's Delight using his now. Not quite able to line up the rockets as we've got an all out here towards this top side. Keen going to have to flash to get out of the way of that Q, respecting the Cassante. And we were concerned about it as Delight, no flash. Yeah. And here's the Vault Breaker as traps are put in place. And you can see Cuz doesn't really want too much. His pace chasing after Lehens, and he will be able to just grab the kill. That is first blood once again. Yeah, Cuz has level six. You want to force a pick, but look at this. Like, your AD carry is not even here. And you're, you don't have six. If you have six, you follow up stun, and then the Vault Breaker comes through, and you have the, the ult from Cuz, and you're like, all right, we got him. But in this case, you're like, well, I don't have any right, range then. damage. <laughs> Delight's like, what? Oh. <laughs> that was kind of weird. Um, you have so much uh, control and power as this pick, and it's Gen G that are running the map. Once again, Keen is going to be taken down so low. They're going to dive him. There's the Cyclone to secure it as now Chovy trying to escape from aiming, and he does so very comfortably. Once. And, and I think a lot of that has been aiming in Lahens, where Cuz is just seen. Okay, opportunity after opportunity here on the bottom side. I'm going to look for more Zenith Blades. He's aiming Ow. chunked out here. Game number two, where he just get, kept getting picked off as Lehens. Once again, the only one really forward on the map here is he has to walk through all of these traps. Gets to a brush, but that is not going to be safety. Sidestepping quite nicely. Some alcove gaming. Uh, but guys, uh, he's still going to be dead. Uh, oh, that was a cute idea. You saw what he was planning there. Still yeah, dead. Way okay. better than this, and this is what we said in draft. We oh. like this one less. Here we go. Here's an actual play. Solar Flare goes wide. Good flash there from Peanut. Gets himself out of the way. So they get a flash. Certainly good news. They need more than that. They certainly do. Mm -hmm. Peanut doesn't even need to ult here, so doing pretty good. Oh, oh. That is a uh, grenade uh, bouncing uh, by. Getting the flash out of the way. Uh, one is now door, and he's ghosting to one. And they want another the kill. On the the support support of Genji. The whole comes Not even going to get the turret here unless they set up a dive. Cuz is trying to wrap around, but he's seen. Well, in comes Genji. Here's the oh, pincer God. as they dive forward. Jovi inside the shroud. The destiny's going to be there, but he just gets himself out. Peanut. Cyclone has a lot of value, but I think he's still going to go down as Keen grabs that kill. Aiming's also dead, though. Season assist going to be used onto the Cassante. They managed to pick him up as now Lahans. Diving forward! Okay. Joby in trouble is now Cuz. Can he charge the Vault Breaker? He does. There is this double kill for the KT jungler, and they come alive. Welcome to the game. And now KT hey. Rolster in such a fantastic position to try to continue the snowball. Again, now they actually have the agency to pull these off. As while Cuz is setting up for a flank here, Jovi and Peanut decide to go in. Peanut with no flash, look at how long it takes him to actually do anything in this fight. His Cyclone is so late. If he actually has flash from that earlier exchange, 
He didn't have to use it there. Maybe he gets the Flash Cyclone and the follow-up as much faster than Chobi can actually rip through this team. But he has just chained CC, and by the time he Cyclones, the team is now disjointed, cut uh, apart. You know, the back line and the front line are divided, and KT win this fight. It's a very narrow... And now the drill money going to get started. On vision here from KT, as they found Trovi on the flank, he immediately goes golden. There's the destiny, as we have a teleport in towards his back line as well. Trovi able to dash his way out. Cyclone's decent, but there's not a lot of follow-up. Cease and assist comes in. Trovi going to be taken down early, and the Varus also executes the Wukong. They do manage to get onto the Caitlyn, and KT, they'll find their fourth in the fight as well. Oh, I and with the it. double kill for BDD. You're taking a Baron because of it. You're feeling pretty good. Now, Cuz has found Delight in his own jungle. He puts down a really big turret, but it's not going to be enough to defend him as now Doran diving on top of Cuz. Cuz is going to try and get him into the team. Now that flash was actually really cute as now Doran has to get himself over the wall. The traps come in. In this case, now Baxon buys a rapid fire cannon. He went from one item to buying Lich Bane to winning two critical fights, and now he's got rapid fire cannon. And stuff like this, I mean, where are we at out here, Delight? I mean, you know that Doran is, it's, needs some help to defend, but just let that top turret go. You can't be in this part of the map here against the Leona of Vi and a Twisted Fate. And then Doran, as, as well, tries to come over here and help out, almost has taken out himself. That they were looking for, they just got there in a way that I wasn't expecting. Fine, and Solar Flare. Flare. Yeah, Solar Flare going to come in as Kane. Not going to fully commit to this one as they're setting up for the siege. Chains of Corruption. Can like, I think Genji have enough control to actually do this. But because KT have like 10% more control, they can start it. Oh, there's the cease and desist as Chobi could be caught out. Does go golden. That's going to help mitigate it as BDD does exactly the same thing. Solar Flare is fantastic as, oh my god, the stuns are huge, but it's not enough to actually finish anyone off. And Kane is going to die. Oh, is they're going to find Delight? Yeah. Oh, the wild cards uh, do go a little bit wide. Um, so did you need to do something before then? They can't actually just sit back and wait for three more minutes and be like, Chobi's farming because you need a fight. You need a win, a decisive win. Well, they are fighting. There's a flash. Solar Flare is OK. PDD just going to pick it up. The rockets from the grave come in, and now a teleport is being set up. Immediately, Chobi goes into the Zonyas, but doesn't now have that for the next fight. Destiny comes in. Gen G, four versus five, have to it. this as BDD gets himself over to the side, but now at least the Destiny Gate has worn off. Trovi can now play the game as the gold card comes in, but he's immediately going to die. They're in a choke point against this Varus. And Peanut is having to run this one out. He'll try to get away, but he won't be able to. Warrior Trickster comes in. Gold card says no, and it's a double kill for BDD. AT gonna do it again, Atlas here. Taking another 2-1 over Gen G. Way too long of the death timers. And Gen G, they waited, they waited, they waited. Eventually, they decided we've got to go in. Delight gets caught. Teleport from Chovy. He instantly has to stop watching. Delight, he's the oh first to die. Oh my goodness. And the last to die the second time. The KT Rolster, they pull it off. But man, was this game tense. It was slow. It was patient. It was the Tortoises League of Legends. But Seems like they're very happy to pick this Leona and make it work. You saw that last solar flare hitting four people, even though it didn't quite work out. And this was that pick that you were talking about, you know, get rid of the Heimerdinger and then be able to comfortably back away. And Chovy teleporting here into everybody's face while Genji are, are kiting back here and Hayes has to play so safe is really ultimately what wins the game here for KT because BDD can, you know, Destiny get over here and Chovy has no stopwatch anymore. Knows like he wants to do more damage, but he has no health bar, he has no stasis. And I mean, look at the comms here for KT, just so frantic, but also all voicing as one towards which target they're looking for. Target selection is great and the hype is deserved. <laughs> yeah, that's a very excited cuz and he is deserving of it because... I